Well, the people that come to see me are clients who are worried about the future. They're worried that they'll have nowhere to live. They're worried that they will have no money to live on or a pension for the future. Uh, they're the financial clients. So then there are the clients who the, the fathers who are worried that they won't see their children, the mothers who are worried about the child arrangements and they're worried about the kind of things that are happening when the children are seeing their father. It's a, it's a wonderful sense of achievement to be working with a couple in mediation and for that mediation to be successful and to resolve itself in an agreement. Um, that gives me a great sense of achievement um, and it's, it's almost a high that you come away with. It's fantastic. Children mediations are often the most difficult because they're so emotional and uh, it's difficult for parents often to compromise about their children in the way that they, they might more easily do when it comes to money. You can't cut children in half, for example. And so um, it really can be very difficult, very fraught and very anxious. And something I've noticed is that couples come into mediation often quite angry with each other and very suspicious and resentful. Um, and it's a great sense of achievement when you've worked with a couple through mediation and you've been able to break down those barriers and help them to understand each other and, and understand each other's fear. What you often find is that it's actually a, a breakdown of communication and as a mediator I can help with that and I can help a couple to communicate much more effectively with each other. And sometimes you get a eureka moment when um, one person listens to the other and says, you know, I didn't know that that's what you were thinking. I didn't know that that was what your fear was. And it's that open communication, which is so much more effectively done through mediation than through solicitors. It's a wonderful experience when you see a couple starting to listen to each other properly and understand why there's a problem and, and, and work together on how best to resolve it. I practice in all areas of family law, children and finances, and I would say that I have an equal experience in both. Uh, there are many solicitors who like to um, promote themselves as high net worth client solicitors. Um, I have dealt with every aspect of family law from uh, people on benefits, uh, living in rented accommodation through to millionaires. And so I wouldn't say that I specialise in one particular area because I think I've covered everything that there is to cover in 20 years. Um, I'm regularly consulted by uh, the Daily Mail um, when they have a story um, on family law. Um, and I have um, also been consulted a number of radio interviews. I love my job um, and uh, I'm very lucky in that respect that I enjoy what I do. Well, what do I enjoy about it? Sometimes it's traumatic and it's often very hard and I work very long hours, but it gives me a huge sense of achievement. I really feel as though I have played an important part in people's lives. You know, when often clients come to see me, they're in a great deal of distress they're very anxious, they're very unhappy, and it's a wonderful feeling to know that I can do something positive to help them. But by the time my work with them is done, I know that they are going to um, be in a completely different place and that the contribution that I've made uh, to that part of their lives has been a very positive one. And that, that gives me a great sense of achievement. Mm -hmm.